All right, let's look at problem number four. As a 15,000 kilogram jet plane lands on an aircraft carrier, its tail hook snags the cable to slow it down. The cable is attached to a spring with a spring constant of 60,000 newtons per meter. If the spring stretches 30 meters to stop the plane, what was the plane's landing speed? So this plane is landing and this cable is slowing it down. This cable has as such a spring. The spring is going to have a potential energy of 1 half kx squared, where this is the spring constant. And so that's what they're giving us here. The 60,000 newtons per meter is going to be our k. x is how much it stretches. So we have the 30 meters. And so we can figure out how much potential energy goes into stretching that spring. And so we have, if we assume conservation of energy, all of the kinetic energy of this plane is going to go into the potential energy of the spring. So the original kinetic energy is going to be its mass, one half its mass times the speed it was going. And that's all going to go into the kinetic energy of the spring, one half kx squared. Well, I'm looking for this original v. So I'll isolate that, half cancels half, k over m x squared, take a square root of both sides, we're going to get square root of k over m times x. And if we plug in some numbers, taking care of the fact that we have very big numbers, but I think everything is still in SI units, meters, newtons, meters, kilograms. So take a square root. of k, which is 60,000, 60,000, divided by 15,000, and now outside the square root, I multiply by 30, multiply by 30, and I get 60, which is what we have here. Done.